Hello, back again so quick. There's been so much going on this week. Uh, we're not going to talk about the past games. We're just going to go straight into the WSL match uh, with uh, Spurs, one of my favourite fixtures of the season for the men's and for the women's. Ali, how are you doing? I'm good. I'm good. You know, week is catching up with me, but um, I'm excited for Sunday. So let's do it. Huge. Yeah, I mean, to be fair, I think Rianne's done a brilliant job so far. I mean, I really thought that they'd be struggling this season. I really did a little smirk on my face at the beginning of the season. And uh, especially when they lost to Brighton as well around, it was early October, I think. I thought, oh, hang on a minute. But they've been picking up the points. You know, they've got 1-1 one, Man one, U, 1-1 one, one against Arsenal. Sitting pretty on fourth uh, with 14 points as well. Uh, plus four, I think it is. So they're doing really well, Al. What do you reckon to the team at the moment? Do you know what I think they've done? They've done what we've done, which is they've got rid of the egos. Yeah. They had a few players that didn't really want to play for them. And there was no, like, gelling. There was no nothing. And they've got rid of those players. Yeah. And they've brought in... And Rianne's brought in players that meet her style and kept the players that meet her style and want to play. And they've now got players that want to play for the Tottenham badge. Yeah. Yeah, I think you you're know, right. Kept fan favourites such as like Ashley Neville, who I will go on about later on, and you know Kit Graham and people like that. They've got the old guard in Rachel Williams and Keris Herrop from last season. They've kept, but then they brought in Kaya Simon, and they've they've been smart. And I honestly think that Rianne's gone right. This is what we're going to do. You're yeah. going to play for Tottenham. You're going to love playing for Tottenham. Let's do it. Yeah, we are really alike. I think you're absolutely right there. I mean, and Capella as well. My goodness me, the saves that she did, to be yeah. fair, in Arsenal, right on par with Mack, in my view. I mean, yeah. what, what a keeper, right? What a keeper. Yeah, so it's going to be hard to get anything past her. Plus, I thought um, Harrop as well did an excellent job yeah. uh, um, just trying to keep Beth Mead at bay. I think she's done a really good job. Until the second half, obviously, I think she got a little bit tired, but I think she's done a really good job there. Yeah. It's, it's going to be tough. tough. Mm -hmm. it's doable, be really though. Of course, it's always doable. You know, I think it's... We've got players that want to play for the badge now as well. Yeah. We have, and they're going to understand the rivalry against Spurs they're going to understand that this is a match the fans are going to be amped up for like yeah. it's at home which I think is going to be a great <laughs> um, thing because we haven't played Spurs at home I don't know we've played them in the Conti but we don't think we've played them no, in the we league because in the league. The not on a Sunday league, no because the league they came up in got cut short because of Covid that's it so we played them at the Hive, but I don't think we played them at home, correct me if I'm wrong. And then last season, we played them at home, but there were no fans there because of COVID. So this will be the first home match with fans, definitely at Dagnum at least. Yeah, no, because it was the I think it was the stadium was the only time I, uh, that I can remember in yeah. 2019 uh, yeah. that we actually played them. I'm trying to think back. Yeah, people could probably see my eyes going right up there trying yeah, to yeah. just think played back. Them at the same, but... That's right. Played them at the same. It's the first time that it's been like close quarters, proper home match. Yeah. In the league, and so it, I think it's going to be exciting. Yeah, really exciting. I think it's... Uh, is it going to be on TV? I reckon it's got to be, isn't it? Because that's got to, going to be a cracker, to be fair. But, OK, so, uh, look, I mean, I've, I've obviously already mentioned Harrop and Capella. Um, who, Queen, obviously, so who are we going to have to look out for? Ashley Neville, for sure. Ashley Neville is... And how this player hasn't got an England call-up, I do not know. She yeah. is one of the best defenders in the league. One of the best defenders in the league a hundred percent um and she's quick she's clever um she's physical as well um so she will battle you off the ball so i think we're gonna have to be clever i think the way we're gonna do it is with our lovely crosses again our strengths are on our wings our yeah. strengths are on the wing and i think neville is good at playing those so i think quick quick pings across into the box mm. be able to hot foot up we've also got to be careful of her we've got rach williams who has been in the league for so long and knows exactly what she's doing she got the goal against arsenal um last season so that mm. and never mind players 
set pieces. Set pieces still fill me <laughs> we dread. with dread. They do. <laughs> I'm sorry. We've got better at them, but they still... And yeah. that's where we've got... Our defenders have got to be on their game. Yeah, it's picking up though. Although I did feel um, that um, Howard didn't have a, a great game, to be fair. I thought there was... I don't know. I don't know what was going on. I don't know if she just didn't feel that great or whether she just wasn't as confident as she usually is. But I did feel against Reading she wasn't at her best. Um, she's always brilliant, but she just wasn't at her best. And Grace as well come back as uh, is, is a huge thing as well. And she's back on form. You know, I thought, oh, goodness me. I mean, she lasted. She, you know, she, she didn't seem that tired to me at all compared to as soon as it was her first match. So... Yeah, it's, um, I don't know, I'm trying to process it all out. It's, um, yeah, it's a struggle. And you know me, I don't like losing against Spurs, so that's why I'm really worried about this one. <laughs> yeah, no, I think we've got some good, I think, to be honest, our player is going to be Lisa Evans because not only is she a West Ham for this season, she is Arsenal, she has scored a hat-trick against Tottenham, mm. she knows the importance of this game. She knows the importance of this game. And um, I think she is going to be, again, on the wick. I think we're going to have to keep playing her up front. I think she's mm. a perfect partner for Claudia Walker mm. up front. And I think yeah. she's going to be quick enough and fiery enough to get round those Tottenham defenders. Yeah, again, we've got loads of options. So, I don't know, Al. What do you... What do you oh, it's got to be so tough, isn't it? Yeah. It <laughs> I is. Can't, I can't. It, is. it is such a difficult one. So... Okay, so what do you think the formation... What is Ollie going to do to ensure that uh, we get a win and not come away with another point? I think, again, it's going to be the Man City formation, which was we, 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 we held back. We were so defensive, and I think that's what we've got to do. We can't let them even get a sniff of the ball in our heart. We've got to keep it back and then you you find your moments you know at Man City we got a corner and Dagny was there you know Yui managed to pick up on a defensive error and a beautiful chip um, yeah. past the goal and I think we can do that mm. with Tottenham we've got to we've got a knacker them we've got a knacker them out and mm. find our moments where we can and it is sort of these matches where we will miss Dre because obviously Dre's going to be yeah. out for the foreseeable. To to be fair, with a crucial lig ligament, apparently, isn't it? Yeah, it is, isn't it? So her foot. She's foot. basically um, for anybody who doesn't know, she had foot surgery last season, mm. and the crack has appeared where they've put the bolt in, so they've had to repair the the crack. So she's now got a plate in her foot. So it's not as bad as it could be, but it's not great. But again, we've got options uh, this year as well, which we it would have been really tough last year if that would have happened to us. Um, so yes, come on, Ali. What else you got to say? Come on, come on up, come on. <laughs> I think I've said it all. It's just that I can't lose to Tottenham again. I know it's painful, right? It really yeah. is painful. I, I know maybe I might, might sound a little bit down. It's just that because I think that we've not had the luck against us. There's something that 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 we're not firing. Literally, we're not firing on all cylinders. We're getting everything into the box. We're getting into the right sort of spaces, but we're just not clinical enough for that final touch to just find the back of the net. And it's getting a little bit frustrating. You can't really hear that in the crowd, really, because we're all still yeah. behind everyone. Yeah. But you know, I mean, but but we're doing really well still. We can really see what's happening. Yeah. And we should actually get three points from this. So I'm going to start off and I'm going to say it's going to be 2-1. Uh, oh, I am going to go 1-0. I think we're going to nick it. I think it's going to be Poacher's goal and we'll nick it. Mm, okay. Maybe I shouldn't have said 2-1 because Capella's in goal. But there we go. Anyway, yeah. <laughs> well, I'm not going to say 1-1 because I don't want another point. So, um Listen, Al, thanks uh, again for this. Um, if anyone uh, wants to meet up on the social media, let's make sure that we've got more fans coming in there. Cause Spurs, because I've heard there's a lot of people coming down from Spurs yeah. for this one. Yeah, I think the tickets are going to be flying uh, for this one. So make sure you meet up with, with both the supporters clubs as well that you find on Twitter. I'll put all the... Um, details down for everyone to look so they can go and check them out and um yeah so it's going to be a great game come on you irons, come on, you irons. <laughs>